Mickey Wilson. It's a beautiful forward movement. Look at the nice top top line right there. I tell you what, these guys are classic all past world champs. I think they are doing one heck of a great job right here. I like it because it gives us a chance to get something done with one, give him a little break, and, and I think it's in the long run, the horses are going to progress faster and it's just going to be a really um, optimal learning on their part because it just gives you a lot of flexibility in, in what you're doing. For me personally, the fitness is going to be key, making sure that I am fit enough to be able to go out and give those three horses the best that I can. But it's also being able to get them to work happily in the ring together, uh, but also to be able to work independently. To be able to get that really good mix of obviously running three horses in a round pen uh, without creating any issues, but also having a very independent, confident horse for the final on the last day. So I think the main thing that, that has changed is just trying to pick the right horse for the format that I'm in as far as the horsemanship goes. Um, everything just kind of stays basically the same. You know, there's a few little things that we kind of tailor just for the event. You know, you kind of got to fast track some things and and really you've got uh, a real clear end game in mind. Then, you, then when at home, um, you, you don't have the test in three days. You have the test, like in my business, in two years is the first test. Um, but here the test of your horsemanship is in three days, so you've kind of got to tailor it towards the end goal of the test without sacrificing what you do to them in the process. For me, there is no real strategy. It's about uh, going to the competition and displaying your horsemanship as best as you can. And each year, obviously, you grow and you change what you're doing and you learn stuff from the horses and from other competitors, so it's about bringing everything that can best do that horse on the day. You've got to do it on their time, and I think Leroy was a good example of that. Um, if I would have pushed, pushed through some things and tried to sidetrack and, and do things that he wasn't ready for, um, it could have been a disaster. So I think the most important thing there is go slow to go fast, and um, make sure to, to go at their pace and not try to push any faster than their pace allows. I think the core principle of my horsemanship would be developing the try. For any horse, any athlete, it's about understanding that you're being asked a question and teaching yours how to answer, problem solve. Essentially it's about setting these horses up with tools that they can use for the rest of their life and I believe that's incredibly important. Road to the horse obviously is three days it's uh, quite tough for the horse, but it's quite amazing how they come away from that event keeping those core concepts.